Are you living your passion? What is your passion? Welcome to the Lux Life Discovered Podcast, where we talk with people who are living a lifestyle that reflects their passion, because we believe everyone should enjoy living their best life, their Lux Life. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lux Life Discovered. I'm Rick Steiner. This is my co-host, Shannon Richmond, and we'll be talking with Robin Evans, the COO of By the Sea Resorts today. And Robin, we're glad to have you with us. I mentioned you're the COO of By the Sea Resorts. Yes. And so tell us a little about your your company, how long you've worked there. I have been with By the Sea Resorts for about three and a half years. Uh, I have been in hospitality for 35. That makes me old. Um, (laughs) We have 11 hotel properties, four restaurants, and we also have several commercial laundries. I oversee the restaurants and the hotels. Okay. And so you're the most recent recognition or celebration has been the Radisson, your flagship? On Our flagship hotel was Legacy, right? Um, which people absolutely loved, and it was our premier hotel. Uh, we decided to take it to a brand, and Radisson was that upper-tier brand that really struck a chord with us. And so the Radisson is the beginning of a new legacy. You said that at the grand opening, I did. and I thought that was so... That was very clever how you pulled that all it together. It didn't come from me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> I thought it was great, but it, it does represent a new legacy, and it's Absolutely. a beautiful property. Absolutely. So. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And... Uh, The team that put that together is absolutely awesome. We're very, very proud of them. So back in the day, years ago, By the Sea was had one, two, three, four properties. And now, I mean, every every year we see like you're getting a new property and you're making it beautiful and and it's just bringing so many people to our community. I think the owner's um, vision is all about Panama City Beach. It's, it's not about Atlanta. It's not about Destin. It's about Panama City Beach. And so when there is an opportunity, he looks at that opportunity, we research that opportunity, and I think the key is doing the right thing at the right time. Uh, we own several lots in between our hotels, but it doesn't mean that you build on that every year. You look at that and see when the right time is. And I think that he has a great knack for that, and I think that our teams, um, our marketing departments, our construction department, we're, we're like a one-stop shop. Uh, we research that heavily uh, to make sure that we're doing the right thing at the right time. And you guys are also very, very involved in the community. Every time we see something, we see somebody mm-hmm. from By the Sea Resorts. It's important to us, and, and not just myself, but to our directors, managers, staff members, Um, In fact, I I have a manager's meeting every Monday morning, and uh, I was speaking about that yesterday morning, that it's how important it is for us to be part of the community, to participate uh, with the community, and to give back to the community. This community has given us a great deal and continues to give us a great deal, and so it it behooves us to give back. This is a community like none other that I've ever seen, and I mean that wholeheartedly, um, as I said, I've, I've been in the hospitality industry for 35 years, and this is probably one of the greatest communities that I've been involved in. Wow. That's, that speaks volumes. It does. So you've been three and a half years? Three and a half years, yeah. yes. Where were you before, and what was your, your background in hospitality? Same thing. Um, I was with a different company. That company uh, actually sold to Choice, which owns a lot of properties across the country and and internationally. Uh, At the time, I had been traveling probably close to 280 days a year. Oh, wow. And um, I had the opportunity to interview with By the Sea Resorts and the opportunity to be able to be home and enjoy my home and enjoy my husband and enjoy my grandchildren to be at that time. And, um, and it just worked out. It took a couple of months, but it worked out, and I'm so very glad that it did. Well, good. The grandchildren kind of play a role in everything now, don't I, they? I have three granddaughters now. Oh, um, I have one that's five, one that will be three on Christmas Day, and then we have our newest one who was born on April 1st. Aww. And so they play a huge part in 
every decision we make, it seems like, <laughs> and we will see them in two weeks. Oh, okay. so, so they don't live far from us. Right. Well, good. We, um, my daughter and son-in-law are going to Mexico mm -hmm. in, next summer in June, and so I was joking with my daughter. I said, so what if we take Bella? She's four. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I think we're going to take her to Disney World that week. And she's like, Dad, you are not taking her until I go. And I was like, she, you won't know the difference? She goes, <laughs> oh, I will know the difference. So grand, grandchildren have a way of like just Absolutely. hitting you where – you know, Absolutely. nothing else does. So, yeah. we we FaceTime quite a bit. They live right outside of Pensacola, so it's not too far away. But we do FaceTime a couple times a week, and um, and just enjoy watching and seeing them grow. And from one week to the next, oh, she learned that. Oh, I actually we were FaceTiming, and I actually got to see my youngest granddaughter sit up for the first time. Oh, wow. So she was on the floor and suddenly sat up. Yeah. So that was exciting. FaceTime so. has changed the yes. world. That's true. <laughs> yes, it has. So, in many different ways, not just in that way, but right, many different right. ways. This episode of Lux Life Discovered is brought to you in part by Steiner Event Group. Steiner Event Group is a national event planner that produces results for their clients. They offer event and wedding planning on any scale, hosting bridal shows, scouting talented models, and producing riveting concept photo shoots to help their clients expand their brands, products, and services. Whether you're a business professional aiming to take your brand to the next level, planning a corporate or private event, a bride seeking to have the wedding of your dreams, or a model ready to be discovered, Steiner Event Group is ready for you. So. Well, we um, always spend two weeks in June, the last two weeks of June here with my daughter and her mm -hmm. family. And so um, the beach area, Panama City Beach, is that's such a key part of our family. You know? Absolutely. So. And it, it is a great family destination. It's a great place to live. Um, one would think, oh, it's a, a touristy kind of thing. Yes and no. Um, it is a community of permanent residents. Um, it is a community of schools and after-school activities and history and um, wildlife, marine life, uh, nightlife. It's, it's all there. And, and then, of course, um, the churches and, and the community events. It, it is a truly encompassed full-ride community. Right. And uh, we lived up at the north end of the county um, up until August of 2020. We bought our house in 2020 here um, on the West End. And um, it really is night and day, but it is probably the best move that we have made. Um, my husband is an outdoors person. I love the beach. I love, you know, going out and shopping and, and enjoying what the city has to offer, just walking around, watching the people. Um, and it's not all about the beach. There's so much more to it than that. Of course, that's the draw. Right. And, and for the hoteliers, that's really the big draw. But there's so much more and there's so much activities. You know, even even something like Save the Turtles and, and things of that nature right. to get involved in those things. We have small retail shops um, and uh, that do these awesome things. You know, I, I went to a symposium, a women's symposium a couple weeks ago, and I thought, why are we going to do these things in this room? And I sat down and I did these little things that they were having <laughs> us do. And I thought, well, this is nice. This is really great. I, you know, I made a piece of jewelry and where's that shop at? I'd really like to find <laughs> that because I want to make another piece of jewelry. And then I painted this elephant and I thought, why are we painting this elephant? But she's speaking, we're painting the elephant and the, and it, the picture ties together and the elephant now sits in my granddaughter's room at my home. So, <laughs> so it all ties back to the kids, but it is a, a definite growth and development burst that we're having here. There's still land here. Yes. Um, condominiums, hotels, apartment communities, shops, new stores, large companies, they're all coming here. And not to mention that we're going to have a great health center here soon. Right. And um, that's huge for jobs. Of course, we all feel the labor shortage here, just like everywhere else across the U.S. But something like that to bring a whole new dynamic to the city is is just huge. We well, were talking about the job shortage, and you mm -hmm. said you have eleven properties. Mm -hmm. So, what's your biggest challenge with COVID? And 
having because all your properties are Gulffront. Uh, the majority right? of them are. Okay. I have a couple that are not, but the majority okay. are. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what's your biggest challenge then? Because I know with S labor, it's hard to get workers sometimes. It is. So, so the biggest challenge obviously is cleaning. That's that's the biggest challenge. Um, that's your bigger biggest labor shortage is housekeeping, housekeepers, laundry, mm -hmm. housemen. That's the that's the bigger shortage, and and you know not to sugarcoat it. Sometimes they're working six seven days a week, um, and we have great team members who that is their passion and desire, uh, so they continue on. I, I, in right. fact, again, I had another conversation with an individual yesterday, one of my housekeeping managers, and uh, one day she felt at the end of her rope, and the next day she was renewed. She took a couple hours, and she said, I'm back in it. I'm good. I, I can do this. <laughs> and I said, I know you can, um, and I'm proud of you. Uh, I, I, I just want to say that I don't know about other hotel companies in the area what their what their feelings are or what their true needs and vision are. But I can tell you this. For By the Sea Resorts, we are a caring, empathetic, motivated, supporting team member with our teams. We participate with them. And I think that's a key. You have to be a participant in the game you play. Right. And right. Um, it's key to us to do that because what good would it be, especially with a labor shortage, if we didn't back them, if we didn't support them, if we didn't motivate them and be on their side and have their back because they have hours. That's right. Whenever we need it, they have hours. They're cleaning rooms. They're cleaning floors. Uh, they're power washing driveways. They're emptying trash. They're greeting our guests with a smile on their face and a, and a, and a good vibe all the way around. So if they have ours, we certainly need to have theirs, and we need to show it, and we try That's to. True. Well, I um, stay at a lot of your properties mm -hmm. when I'm here, and so we were talking earlier, found one little sweet spot, Sugar Sands, on the West End. Yes. And, you know, until I stayed there the first time, you don't really think about that being that much of a difference between the West End of the beach mm -hmm. and, like, mid-beach or even the East End. But it's amazing the different areas that they're so close but so mm -hmm. different. They are, and I think that's one of the great things about the number of hotels we have and where they are located. Again, doing the right thing at the right time right. because there's a niche for everybody. You know, there's there's the middle class, there's an upper tier, there's someone who likes to be on the east end with all the attractions for the kids, there's someone who likes to be centrally located that's near Pier Park, there's someone else who likes to be, you know, down at the west end where right. it's quiet and it's more residential. And then we have the folks that like to be on Back Beach, and we've got one, one on Back Beach that's conveniently lo located to 79. It's an in and out, but it's only a seven-minute walk to the beach. Um, mm -hmm. We've got one that's located directly across the street from the beach, so it's not the, the rate is not as high as sitting on there so that fits them a little bit better and then we've got one that's across from the navy yard which obviously is huge for them because they've got an in and out right there directly across the street True. from them yeah. so there is a niche for everybody um you know as you get older you like it a little quieter <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's true yeah and yes that's but it's just been fun and then also what i wanted to bring up to you about the properties everybody that works there very, very friendly. And Absolutely. It's, um, it's something that you, you can't teach, by the way. It, it, it's something that when you are interviewing an individual, what is this right. when you're interviewing? And uh, is it a smile on the face? Is it enthusiasm? I, I don't always hire people who have come from a hotel background. Sometimes it's better to, to have that green person who doesn't come with the bad habits, but is so enthusiastic and so passionate about wanting to be there for somebody or, or a situation or do what's good and to see that outcome. You know, at the end of the day, every single one of the team members has one goal, and that's a positive guest experience. That's the one goal. Uh, sure, you make money. Uh, sure, sure, there's other things during the day, getting the rooms clean and what have you, but all of that leads up to the positive guest experience, and that's right. what we're in it for. 
Okay. Amazing. So I bet you didn't know, Rick. What's that? That Robin is on the board for the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce, and every one of their properties are a member of our chamber. That's yes. impressive. Yes. yes. It's That's important good. to us. And, you know, I mentioned it earlier, it's important for us to be involved in the community, but it's also important for us to be involved with the other businesses uh, to support one, one another um, meet with one another, talk with each other. You know, we have some after hours, there's some lunches, um, events that we go to, but it really is about connecting. If my home needs something, I'm calling somebody who's on the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce. That's who I'm calling. If I'm going to eat today, I'm going to a restaurant that's on the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce. I am doing business with business um, through them. And it's, it's huge because it is a, it is a support system for the businesses in this area. And by the way, I'll give Shannon kudos because again, when I said that this is, was the best move that I've made, this is the best, the very best Chamber of Commerce I've ever been involved in and I've been with numerous. Right, I've, I've said the same thing and I've told Shannon this before. It's the member caring mm -hmm. that pulls you in and just blows you away because Does. you know, you're not getting the annual invoice mm -hmm. for your dues, you know, like you do some mm -hmm. places. And um, I was, we were talking earlier on our first intro podcast this morning. If you're a member of the chamber and you're not involved, it's your fault. Yes, you know? absolutely. And because I mean, it's there. Yes, the it's opportunity there. is there and they, they're, they make the opportunities known. So mm -hmm. there's, it's good. And then I always joke with Shannon too, I have the um, good Shannon on my right <laughs> shoulder when I'm talking to somebody like, you're a member of the chamber. Mm -hmm. And then the bad Shannons over here like, don't do business with them. They're not a chamber. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Is that who I hear? Right. That's, so that's, that's who you're hearing. Yeah. So. When you're selecting lunch, you're like, yeah. okay, that's the place. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, sorry. I will say yeah. you're correct about that because, again, we go back to being a participant. Um, and that's what we have to be as a participant. If, if we expect support and respect and motivation, we have to give that back. Right. And that means to the other businesses in the area. They've all come here or opened up for a reason. Mm -hmm. And part of that reason is this community. And so we have to make the community the best that it can be. This episode of Lux Life Discovered is brought to you in part by Orville's Men's Store. Thank you, Orville's Men's Store, for supplying the men's clothing for today's podcast. For the absolute best in casual and dress wear for men, visit orvillesms.com. That's O-R-V-I-L-L-E-S-M-S.com. True, true. We were talking about community earlier, and we're like, you know, I bet you people that vacation here see our beaches more than we do. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. I mean, we need to take advantage of that. I, We've got the absolutely. most beautiful beaches, but when we talk to people, when we actually get on the beach, they're like, yeah, we come here six times a year, and we're like... What? You go to our beach six times a year? I don't make it, but once a year. Yes. So we got to fix that. Yes. Well, Debbie always asks, like, how, how long were you at the beach today? And she doesn't understand when I'm here. I'm never on the beach. I, I mean, I don't. You know, hey, I'm June, up for a Chamber of Commerce beach bonfire any day of the week. I, oh, you know, I'm up for it. Challenge so. accepted. We could do the bonfire beach challenge with Forrest doing the... Um, the, the tasting? The tasting. Mm -hmm. We... Go ahead. So we met somebody <laughs> that hasn't joined our chamber yet. Oh. Yet. But that's okay. So she, I know you'll take care of that. Yes. So we were talking. and Good people, <laughs> Yeah, bad Shannon. Um, we were talking to her, and she was telling us how people would say, like the historian was talking about what his vision was for a meal. And she went and researched it and did every last detail to a T of what he was imagining. So that when was, he saw yeah. that, it was, so we were telling her, we'll give her a few words and see what we end up with and mm -hmm. see if it's what we were really so we thinking. So we may have to all work on this together mm -hmm. then. That'd be, yes. I'm in, I'm yeah. in. Okay. But that's passion, right? It's that's passion right. and desire. Yes. So, and it's right. trying to make it right. Right. So. And that's awesome. the whole point of this podcast mm -hmm. that I wanted to start with and is because your Lux Life discovered. And mm -hmm. Lux Life, it doesn't mean necessarily wealth or luxurious, mm -hmm. but it's your passion yeah. and being able to live in your, your best passion. life ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, absolutely. And, okay. and when we were talking about our very first podcast, I'm like, Robin lives her best life. Yeah. <laughs> I said, we've got to talk to her because you are, what you do is you're helping our community. You're, you're employing all these people and you're giving them something to look up to. Mm -hmm. And they're excited when they go to work. It's not like, oh, I got to go to right. work. And we love to do that. And, and the other thing that we love to do I'm a huge proponent of people. So when it's time to promote, I love to promote from within. I love to, 
you know, brag. I, I love to use examples. Um, and uh, obviously, if I can't hire from within for a specific position, then we hire, you know, out. But uh, I love to bring people up through the ranks. It, it's just wonderful to see someone start out maybe in a housekeeping position and go to, which did happen, an area housekeeping manager. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to see that, you know, security ending up in a general manager position uh, over, over time and learning and, and getting those skills that they need. You know, but it's also wonderful to interview somebody who says, I say to them, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, and the young person may say, I'd like to be a firefighter. Okay, come on board and I'll teach you the skills that you need for that. In fact, I may make a phone call and let you speak with someone who is a firefighter who can let you know the skills that you need to do, the steps that you need to take. Wow. That person doesn't necessarily not get the job because they want to be a firefighter. Right. I see something in them, some desire and passion and drive that for a year or two may be very good for us, but in the long run, for his lifetime, it's going to be very good for him because he does learn the skill sets. He does learn dependability, reliability, organization, all of those things that need to be done, time management, uh, the passion and desire to get things done and want it done and, and to be focused and deliberate. All those things can be, can be taught and learned and trained on so that he could step into a role such as a firefighter that he would want to be. That's amazing. That is, and you're not just hiring an employee for your company, you're investing in their life. That's correct. And that's huge. And, and, and in the community, by the way, yeah. because he wants to be a firefighter exactly. in Panama City yes. Beach. So why that's not? That's exciting. Isn't that's, it? Yeah, because so much today is like mm -hmm. a me attitude and mm -hmm. what's in it for me now. Yeah. You know, that type thing. Yeah, we have so. to kind of lose that because, you know, to see another person, you know, I saw a quote the other day, and I know I'm going to butcher it here, but it's something in the realm of let me stand back and clap for others until it's my turn. Right. And I just love that quote. I like I'm going to stand back over here, and I'm going to clap for you, and I'm going to send you the accolades, and I'm going to have joy for you. My time will come, but right now we're focused on you. So wow. I, I really I really enjoyed that quote. And we've lost that so much mm -hmm. We today. have. We, we have. have. Yeah. So... So our community is just, I mean, we are growing yes, in we leaps are. and bounds. Yes, we are. And um, it's just so nice to see that everybody is helping each other. So it's not it's not like, oh, I'm going to open up and I'm going to do all of these things for us. Like if we call you and say, hey, we need mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. even though it's for another hotel, you'll say, here, why, have you tried this? Mm -hmm. So it's so nice how we all connect together and help each other in our community. And, I, and that's what I was speaking about earlier. We're supporting one another and we're you know, speaking with one another, we're motivating each other, we're sending people to their businesses, other businesses, because in turn, that will happen for us. Again, standing in the corner, I'm clapping for you, I'm glad you're here, I'm glad you're making it in, in your business, and it there's enough for us. And there's, see, that's real. For us. That's, yeah. yes. that's not made up, yeah. that's real. Yeah, so um, I just, uh, again, just huge on the community impact that a business can have on the community. Yes, Labor, we, we, we have multi, you know, many people on our team, great people on our team. We want more. Um, we need more. Um, but when you get them, you got to take care of them. And, and again, that's, that talk that I had with my staff yesterday morning is about being involved in the community, about how that needs to happen. Quite frankly, it's almost mandatory in our company. It, it really is because I want them, I want people out there. I want to be seen and heard and I want people to know the beauty of Panama City Beach, the economic impact that many things have on Panama City Beach, the growth and development of Panama City Beach and the people. The people are good people here. Um, Sure, we get a lot of tourists. They're in and out. They're in and out. But the people who are permanent residents here, who live this, breathe this, drive it in the summertime, even though they're, oh my gosh, um, you just work around it because you love it here so much. With By the Sea Resorts, you have so many options, you never have to settle. By the Sea Resorts offers five restaurants and 11 hotels where you can enjoy the sights and the sounds of the Gulf. 
spread out in spacious guest rooms, or book your next event or meeting in one of our many customizable spaces. For dining, we're serving up sunshine and good times at all three of our Barefoot Restaurant locations, or experience waterfront dining at the Shrimp Boat Restaurant, and enjoy live entertainment every weekend at House Suburban by the Sea Resorts. We're saving you a front row seat. We yeah. talked about that earlier, and when we see traffic as mm -hmm. locals, we're mm -hmm. like, wow, look at mm -hmm. all the business coming mm -hmm. to our mm -hmm. area, so yeah. we're excited. So yeah. if we wait an extra few minutes in traffic, yes. so be it, yes. because right. that's what keeps our, our economy growing. Absolutely. You know, it's a love-hate relationship, yes. you know, so... Um, Sometimes you just hate that traffic, but you know that this is this is keeping us alive. This is keeping us going. And the one good thing that's happening, I will say, is that it's not all tourism based anymore. There's so much more coming in. Our airport is doing phenomenal job yeah. on on doing the right flights, if that makes sense to anybody, because a lot of times there's flights and you just go, oh, wow. that just doesn't yeah. make sense. <laughs> but they're, they're putting this together, and it is just phenomenal the way they're doing this. Um, a lot of uh, development at the airport. Um, our school systems are, are rated really, really high. I don't have school children anymore, but some of my team members do, and, and they speak about it all the time. There's some great after-school programs here. We've got beautiful parks here, mm -hmm. and not just, not just the Gulf, but there's wonderful lakes here, and um, just great fishing and boating and, and wildlife and so many things kids can learn about wildlife and marine life. It, it's just awesome altogether. Um, you can adopt a turtle. <laughs> I love right. turtles. You can adopt a turtle and, and save that turtle for, you know, when they, when they catch them, when they've, when they've gotten tangled up in something and they bring them back. And, you know, I was involved in one being released probably, I think it was last year. And I was like, this is great. This is right. awesome. And it's this huge turtle and he's going back home to the water. Aww. That was, that was really great. If that doesn't get you motivated about Panama City Beach, nothing. Right. I yeah. mean, that's great. I think yeah. his name was Chester. Chester. Uh -huh. the I don't, I don't remember 100% because I just was in awe of him, but I believe they named him Chester. Oh, so he, wow. was, he was pretty cool. I liked him a lot. So that I guess there's something here for everybody. There is. Is. I mean, it's just, it's, of course, the golf is the attraction, but that's not all that's here. There right. is so, so much more. And we're just happy to be a part of that. You know, our company continues to grow. Um, we've got some other opportunities coming up, um, which will be out there soon. But we can't, uh, can't share anything right now. Uh, well, we took, um, we have a, we have a very historic property called the Chateau. Uh, right. I believe it opened in 1962, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have taken that property down, and we are redoing it from the inside out. Uh, it's People love that hotel. It has a lot of nostalgia. Uh, people who were there in 1964, 65, 70s on spring break just keep coming back. I've got you know people in their 70s who still come back to this property because this wow. is where they brought their families. And so we have that going on. We're doing a couple uh, renovations to a couple of the other hotels um, to bring those up. We've branded some of our hotels uh, to, you know, branding hotels sometimes makes sense and sometimes doesn't uh, in today's world, um, depending on the property. It's all about advertising, marketing, and the loyalty program. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for us for some of our properties. And we're looking at that very um, strategically to make sure that makes sense to do it at the right time. Um, but there, you know, there's, there's just so much here. And uh, every day, if you don't see something different, something's wrong. Uh, it just, it really is amazing. And I'm a people watcher. So I, I love to watch people and they go, wow. Wow, it's not just the beach. There's right. so much more, and um, and I just enjoy it. And uh, we have a great team, a great staff at By the Sea Resorts, and we're just continuing to move forward and and uh, be part of what's going on here. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for being with Absolutely. us today. Uh, I'm I'm motivated. I can't wait to get <laughs> back and, and do some work now. So this has been great. And Keep thank pushing you so much. forward. <laughs> oh, definitely. So well, thank you so much for being thank with you. us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So thank you for joining us again today for the podcast. Our next uh, episode will feature Scott Lassiter, with, who is DJ 30A in the Gulf area. So we look forward to seeing you on that podcast. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and want to support our show, leave us a review. That's the number one way to help this show reach others just like you. Join us next time for another Lux Life Discovered.